this is a bad news for OpenAI, and I'm not talking about Ian Lique, who was closely associated with Ilya joining Anthropic to continue the super alignment mission. Not sure what a super alignment. I already have a video. I will link it in the YouTube description. But in this video, we're going to talk about a new feature or a bunch of new features that have just arrived. Hugging chat is this chat interface that is available for free from Hugging Face. All you have to do is uh, go to hf.co slash chat and you will arrive at Hugging Chat. Hugging Chat recently announced something called tools. Uh, there are six tools that are available inside Hugging Chat. Web search, URL fetcher, document parser, image generation, image editing, calculator. All these tools are available for right now the model called Command R plus from Cohere, which is one of the best models that are available. Why is it a bad news for OpenAI? Of course, obviously people are not going to sign up for chat GPT plus subscription because almost everything, almost everything that chat GPT plus offers is going to be, be part of hugging chat. In fact, they have got a really good roadmap. And before I take you through their roadmap, I want to quickly show you a couple of demos where this is absolutely interesting. The first thing is I'm going to use uh, the tool called image generation. But do you know what is a tool? See, there are certain systems that you can connect to this chat interface and call those systems when a particular trigger happens. And that's a tool. So in this case, it's going to call an image generation tool. In the next case, it's going to call an image editing tool. So what are the tools that are available? The tools are available. If you give a URL, it's going to use URL feature. If you ask it to search on internet, it is going to use web search. If you ask it to create image, it's going to use image generation. And if you give a document like a PDF, it's going to use document parser. So this is simply what the tools are. How the tools are getting connected, we will quite, quite shortly, we'll see what, how does it happen. But for now, I said generate a portrait of Elon Musk being poor in Mumbai. And I think it tried to keep uh, the taxi in the background and uh, the image generation quality is quite bad. I would not judge this one based on how it looks now, but I'm looking at the future and I'm quite excited about it. And uh, then I said, edit the image to show the moon in the background. And uh, of course, there is an ugly Elon Musk here and there is a moon in the background. I mean, quite good. It's, it did its job. I'm going to create a new chart and I'm going to give you the same thing. So I'm going to say, just go with the pre one, generate a mouse portrait, generate the portrait of a scientific mouse in its laboratory, the lab. So you can see that it has called the image generation tool. And you can see there is a mouse that is a scientist and there is some letters that like matrix type letter written in the back. Create a new image, create a portrait of, let's say, Jan Lee Kuhn um, in front of Eiffel Tower. Jan Likun, if you do not know, of course you should get to know. I've made some mistake with uh, the name, but you see, uh, this is probably Jan Likun with uh, in front of Eiffel Tower. So next thing that we are going to use is we're going to use the tool called URL Fetcher. So I'm going to go ahead and then get one of the URL that is available from Crick Info, which is a website where you have cricket news. I'm going to copy this and uh, come back here. And after I come back here, I'm going to just paste and then say create a simple viral tweet based on this and send this and you can see that it is going to fetch the content for me. Let's see if it gets activated. First of all, yes, it called the tool URL feature. It got the tool and then it knows what the article is about, which is about Mitchell Stark, probably leaving ODI to play more T20 cricket. If you do not know cricket, don't, don't bother about it. But then, you know, it has given me. Now I can ask follow up questions on top of it. So give me something more viral with some emoticons. Okay. So now I can say that give me something more viral with some emoticon. Now it's probably either going to answer only with the LLM or it's probably going to call a tool. So at every question that you ask, it's going to make the decision whether it is should just give me with some LLM or it should give me with a tool and it will make the decision whether it should call the tool or not. So you've got something with the, with the, with all the things. And in fact, it has given me like the tag, um, for KKR where he played. I'm not sure if it is going to work, but it has done a pretty good job of giving me the Twitter handle of one of the franchises that he played. 
So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to simply invoke the calculator tool. So it's I think it must be pretty simple. Um, can you tell me what is 2 into 2 plus 2, 3, 4, something, something, something. So all I'm expecting is to invoke the calculator tool. So at this point, you can see that it successfully invoked calculator tool. And if you have studied uh, whatever they called as board mash when I was a kid, which is uh, 2 into 2 is equal to 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 4 is 11, and you have got 11. So at this point, you have an idea about how to use these tools, how to use Hugging Chat. And what I'm going to show you next is how is this actually happening? I mean, that's the most important thing, right? Otherwise, you don't have to come to this channel. And I'm going to show you how this is happening. So Hugging Face has got these uh, certain models that are available as part of something called Zero GPU Space. Explaining zero, GP, Z, G, zero, zero GPU space itself will require a separate video. I might probably make a video about being GPU poor, not being GPU poor, but this is simply certain community based demos that are available, which has got API endpoints. So you can go here and then see what the space is. So again, face has got a space that says PDF to Markdown. So this is one of the tools that they're using for the document parser. So they're going to convert the PDF into a markdown and then they're going to give it to LLM for rag. Okay. So now this space comes with a hidden API inside it. And this is how you access or call the API. And that is exactly what this tool is doing. Now let's quickly look at image generation. Click this. Now you will see this is using hyper SDXL model from ByteDance. I guess ByteDance is a company that created TikTok. I'm not very sure about it. So now this also has a hidden API. And now this is what that particular tool is calling. So what this basically is doing is for every tool, it is either calling an internal tool that is hosted by Hugging Face like web search URL fetcher, or it is calling a space, Hugging Face space probably built using Gradio that is hosted on Hugging Face using zero GPU. So it's calling using the API. So how do we choose the tool? A tool must be a zero GPU space that comes by default with exposed API endpoints. The other important thing is the tool needs to be fast, which, which means like there is maximum like 25 seconds of latency for ensuring good user experience and they prefer simple tools. Do you have an idea for a tool? You can submit it here. But the most important thing here is the roadmap that they have got. They want to add multi-step tool also known as agents. They want to support more models right now. It's just command R plus and they've got more uh, items like community assistance, improving existing tools and all the other things. I'm quite excited about this future. Uh, I'm always up for competition, but to see hugging chat improving, I have already made videos about hugging chat assistance, hugging chat in itself to see tools being available inside hugging face is quite a happy moment for me. Before I end the video, I'm going to just quickly show very simple demo and uh, let you play with this thing. Create a, create a simple picture of one little coder being a YouTuber at midnight. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, want to, I want to see if it can create a picture. Let's see what it can do. So it called image generation. Um, that kind of looks like me, except that I don't have such a fancy setup with a fancy lighting, but yeah, that is, uh, that is exactly what I wanted to say. If this sounds like a bad news for open AI, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, are you going to use hugging chat? See you in another video. Happy prompting.